I would like to welcome the Secretary General of the United Nations, Kofi Annan, In just a few short years, the prevailing atmosphere has shifted from a belief in the near inevitability of globalization to deep uncertainty about the very survival of our global order. This is a challenge for the United Nations, but it obliges the business community too to ask how it can help put things right. Allow me to suggest some ways that you might do your part. In the economic realm, there is a direct connection between your interest and the international community's ability to meet the Millennium Development Goals. The goals are central to our struggle for peace and human dignity. Yet, in the past year or two, the war in, in Iraq and other events caused our <clears throat> attention to drift dangerously away from them. It is time to rebalance the international agenda. So the Global Compact is not only the only current UN initiative. I urge you all to tell your governments just how important this is to you as business leaders and try to persuade them to support the panel's recommendations when they are published later this year. Indeed, the United Nations is not an end in itself, as I have said. It is a means for building a better world through reliance on universal principles such as justice, respect for international law, and the peaceful resolution of disputes. Uh, gladly you identified, Mr. Downer, that we're talking about Islamic terrorism. And therefore... It's not easy to establish freedom in, in the midst of terror. And it's not, not easy. Freedom has never been free. It has always been difficult to achieve, and it's always been, been difficult to attain. And, it, and when it comes to smooth-running government bureaucracies, I'm not sure the United States has any special capacity. We have always had challenges in translating our ideals into reality. But let me just say that the fact that we are not perfect and without flaw in doing so does not dissuade us from pursuing those ideals in the least. And uh, in this respect, we need help. And we are grateful to the dozens, dozens of nations that are helping us. They've been, they're represented here on this podium. And they're represented across this audience and they're represented across the world. On the issue of terrorism, um, the United States did go to the uh, United Nations and resolutions were passed through the Security Council. I don't think you should forget that. And secondly, I think there is very broad support um, across the international community, and Prince, Prince Turkey made this point, uh, in relation to Saudi Arabia for what the Americans are doing and for what more broadly the international community is doing to counter terrorism. I wouldn't let that get too confused with the issue of Iraq. Sure, there were divisions over the issue of Iraq, but you wouldn't want to exaggerate that either. There's an enormous amount of support around the world, you know, for the liberation of Iraq. There's not a lot, there aren't a lot of people around the world who think this world would be a better place if Saddam Hussein were to return as the dictator of Iraq. Let me turn to, uh, if that's uh, Ron, I'm not sure. Uh, uh...